there. Welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinika, and today I'm going to show you how to use acacia gum as a solubilizer for um, essential oils. So you'll need a few things. Uh, I'm going to just make a very basic body spray today using acacia gum. Uh, the whole idea is to just to show you how acacia, acacia gum can be used as a solubilizer. So uh, your ingredients, you'll need deionized water, Acacia gum, dipropylene glycol, we'll need a preservative and I chose a spectrostat G2, and of course our essential oil and I chose a blend. We make a women's balance blend that I think is lovely and I want a nice body spray so that's what we're making today. <laughs> okay so um, the first thing you need to do is of course heat up your water so I'm just going to get my hot plate out here and turn it on and heat the water up to about 120, 130. So we'll let that heat up and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've heated up our water, and you'll also need a uh, stick blender. Um, we use this great one. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. It's a mini pro blender. Um, it's great for larger projects, and it's a little bit more heavy duty than a kitchen blender. Um, anyway, so we've heated up our water. We're just going to go ahead and put that aside, and we're going to premix some ingredients here. Actually, all the other ingredients will be premixed here. Okay, so we're going to premix all of our ingredients here. Um, generally, when you're uh, using acacia gum as a solubilizer with oil, you're going to want to use at least three parts of acacia to your one part oil. So we've done that here. Um, I've chosen dipropylene glycol because it's really great for fixing scent in the spray, so it'll last longer. And because this is just a spray, I'm not too concerned about using that ingredient. So um, I'm going to just go ahead and pour that right in. And just kind of mix the acacia gum up in there. And I'm going to pour in our preservative, our Spectrostat G2. And just kind of mix that all up in there. And then I'm going to add our essential oil. Now I used quite a bit of, of the Women's Balance essential oil because I kind of want a nice, strong smelling body spray. So you can certainly use less. I chose to use 1%, which means I'm using 3% acacia, of course. Okay. I'm just gonna mix that up and get it nice and blended. Okay, put that aside, and now we're just going to simply add this to our deionized water. So I'm going to turn my mixer on and get it mixing. Before I do this, I think I should clarify, acacia gum works as a solubilizer. It is not a thickening agent though, so unlike other gums, it's not going to create a gel. It's simply uh, it just doesn't do that. Um, it does help solubilize the oils into your water phase, though. So you can certainly use it that way. So turn on my mixer a little bit, and I'm just going to slowly pour in. And I can see I didn't do a very good job of blending the acacia at the bottom, so there's a little bit in there. And I'm going to just mix it in. Make sure we get it all in there. Okay, that looks better. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm going to turn up the speed on my mixer just a little bit so 
I can get it going really good. And you may find that you will be wanting to mix it as it starts to cool down. Um, it will help stabilize it. So we're just going to keep mixing this for a little bit, making sure that the acacia is fully hydrated so that it can solubilize the oil in there. And again, because it doesn't gel, it's kind of hard to determine when does it fully hydrate. And as you work with acacia more and more, you'll, you'll get to know when it's fully hydrated and when to stop. It's okay to not mix it as well and let it cool down and then go back to it, but what you're gonna see is a separation. And if you'd rather not see that at all, then just keep mixing it. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I can't wait to use this. Mix it down just a little. Okay, it looks to me like that acacia is fully solubilized. And you can see that the oil is staying in solution. And now we have a great body spray that doesn't necessarily have to be shaked before use. So um, this uh, goes right along with the other video we did on the different types of gums and gelling agents there are. And in that video, I mentioned that I would show you how to do this with acacia gum. So there you go. There's uh, how to use acacia gum as a solubilizer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe for more great videos. Thanks for joining us.